Some people say that the left brain is responsible for analytical, logical thinking, and the right brain is responsible for artistic, creative thinking. But is that true? The short answer to the question is, no, both hemispheres of the brain are interconnected with one another, and you're using them both for pretty much everything. Scientists have even done studies using fMRI on this exact question to see if they could find any evidence for this divide. Spoiler alert, they couldn't. This myth probably comes from early research on understanding how the brain processes language. Through studying patients who suffered from brain lesions, scientists guessed that speech and language were processed by just the left hemisphere. And it's true that for most people, the majority of language processing does happen on the left side. But it's not true for everyone. And even when it is true, the right hemisphere does some of the work too. The myth might also come from research on split brain patients. These are people who, for medical reasons, needed to have the corpus callosum, the thick bundle of neuronal axons that connects the two hemispheres, severed. Because of this disconnect, the two halves of a split brain patient's brain can't communicate with one another. So when a face is presented to just the visual field of the left hemisphere, the patient can say, I see a face. When it's presented to the right hemisphere, the patient can't access all of the language tools they need to say face, and they say they see nothing, but they can draw the face instead. But while split brain patients have unique changes to their behavior, most of this research has been replicated and expanded on in non-split brain patients. So the effects of severing the corpus callosum aren't so clear cut. Basically, the connections in the brain are super complex. In addition to communication across the hemispheres, there is a lot of crosstalk within each individual hemisphere. The brain has to process a lot of information, and it does that by integrating information all over the place, from front to back, from top to bottom, and from side to side. So even if you identify as more creative and open, like Captain Kirk, or more logical and analytical, like Commander Spock, there just isn't any evidence that those traits are controlled by one hemisphere or the other. Thanks for joining us to celebrate Brain Awareness Week. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to catch tomorrow's video too. Until then, I'm Ali Astrocyte. Over and out.